The Curious Adventures of Maddie the Ginger Tomcat Chapter 1 Maddie and the Mysterious Squeak Maddie was not your average ginger tomcat. With his vibrant orange fur, emerald green eyes, and a curious nature, he was the king of his neighborhood. Every morning, Maddie would perch himself on the highest fence in the yard, surveying his kingdom with a regal air. He had a knack for finding adventure, and today was no exception. As the sun rose, casting a golden hue over the garden, Maddie's ears twitched. There it was again, a mysterious squeak coming from the bushes. His whiskers twitched in anticipation as he crept closer, his tail swishing with excitement. Meow, he called softly, peering into the foliage. Suddenly, a small, rubbery object shot out from the bushes and bounced off his nose. It was a squeaky toy left behind by the neighbor's dog. Maddie's eyes widened with delight. He pounced on it, batting it around with his paws. The more it squeaked, the more determined he became to conquer this strange, noisy creature. Chapter 2 The Great Squirrel Chase After a rigorous play session with the squeaky toy, Maddie decided to take a stroll through the park. As he wandered along the winding paths, he spotted a squirrel darting up a tree. With a mischievous glint in his eye, Maddie crouched low, preparing to give chase. The squirrel, sensing the impending pursuit, chattered nervously and scrambled higher. Maddie leapt onto the tree trunk, his claws digging into the bark as he climbed with surprising agility. Higher and higher they went, until the squirrel made a daring leap to the next tree. Not to be outdone, Maddie followed suit, soaring through the air and landing gracefully on the next branch. The chase continued from tree to tree, drawing the attention of passers-by who watched in amusement. Finally, the squirrel found refuge in a nest, and Maddie, panting but triumphant, decided it was time for a well-deserved nap. Chapter 3. Maddie Meets Mr. Whiskers Maddie's fame as the local daredevil spread throughout the neighborhood. One day, while lounging on his favorite windowsill, he noticed a new cat strutting through the garden. This newcomer was a sleek black tomcat with a white mustache and an air of sophistication. Intrigued, Maddie hopped down and approached the stranger. Hello there, I'm Maddie. Who might you be? He asked, his tail flicking with curiosity. The black cat looked down his nose at Maddie and replied, I am Mr. Whiskers the most distinguished feline in this area. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Maddie, never one to be outdone, puffed out his chest and declared, Well, Mr. Whiskers, welcome to my domain. Let me show you around. And with that, Maddie led Mr. Whiskers on a grand tour of the neighborhood, showing off his favorite hiding spots, the best sunbathing patches, and the tastiest garbage cans. Chapter 4 The Fishy Heist one sunny afternoon, Maddie and Mr. Whiskers stumbled upon the local fish market. The tantalizing aroma of fresh seafood was too tempting to resist. With a nod and a wink, the two cats devised a plan to snatch a fishy treat. Maddie, being the smaller and more agile of the two, slipped into the market, weaving between the legs of unsuspecting shoppers. Meanwhile, Mr. Whiskers kept watch, his sharp eyes scanning for any signs of trouble. Maddie spotted a particularly plump fish on display and pounced. He grabbed it with his teeth and made a dash for the exit. The fishmonger, a burly man with a thick mustache, shouted in surprise, Hey, get back here, you little thief! With the fishmonger hot on his heels, Maddie sprinted towards Mr. Whiskers, who signaled for him to take a sharp left. They ducked into an alleyway, the fishmonger losing sight of them. Panting and laughing, the two cats shared their stolen prize, savoring the taste of victory and fresh fish.
in my bed. I'm just little tiny cat. I'm a little tiny cat. Is it dinner time or bed? I'm just little tiny cat. I can sleep without my bed now. I can sleep without my bed. I can sleep without my bed now. I can sleep without my bed. Sleep without my bad mouth.